the last time. Dear Alexander, I am slow to anger, but I toe the line as I reckon with the effects of your life on mine. I look back on where I failed And in every place I checked The only common thread has been your disrespect Now you call me immoral A dangerous disgrace If you've got something to say Name a time and place Face to face I have the honor to be Your obedient servant A. Dotber What's going on everyone? You're watching Emroy TV and today is Free Your Style Thursday. So if it's your first time hopping to the channel, welcome. And if you are a returner, a subscriber, good to see you again. Free Your Style Thursday is more of an opportunity for me to show you guys the artistic side of in dancing. At least the way I approach it because every Wednesday I do teach you guys how to dance via, via tutorials. As you can tell by now in the intro, every day is something different. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the last freestyle section from my Free Your Style episode, Alexander Hamilton, Hamilton the Musical Edition. Uh, the song is to uh, your obedient servant. This is a song in the musical where uh, Aaron Burr and uh, Alexander Ham Hamilton are kind of like duking it out through writing letters. It'd be the equal equivalent of us like having a text argument nowadays. The way it's gonna work is that you guys are gonna watch the video raw with no commentary. The next couple, first or two rounds is me talking about the technique in the dance, uh, what I could do better. It's kind of like me giving myself notes so I can improve on my dancing and hopefully those notes inspire you to improve your dancing. And then the third part is more the technical side for those of you who know a little bit of editing or little, know a little bit of compositing and after effects and what it took to create this scene. Uh, now that you guys saw the video, let's get into some commentary. Okay. I like I like how I think I could have straightened my legs a little bit more on that on that renegade get down. A lot of the moves I I've shown here you guys can do. Oh, I was trying to go for like a tick, more like a da 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 da, like tick 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 on that part, but I, it became just like a really really crappy wave. See, <laughs> try I was trying to show the slow toe the line with the foot. Talking about, I was like going a little bit on Hulk mode. Like, you're f a lot of this is playing on the words. This one is more like a very dramatic pause, like what I did in the first freestyle. One, I threw that move in there because it was a car. There was an there was an actual car coming, an actual car. There was a car coming, so that way, like, like. I wanted to kind of impress them. I said there's an audience coming, so I edited it so you it, it it kind of pans in to become closer to me, so you guys don't see the car. So the, at this point, there's a car pa passing to my left side, or your screen right. So as I look, there's a car right there. <laughs> so I think, like honestly, the, the overall freestyle, I think the strength could have been more. Like it looks like I'm going into it. I think the, the extension of the moves could have been better. Um, I think one of the I took only I did only two takes for this uh, because there was a lot of cars coming through and sun was starting to uh, disappear. So even though it looks like there was like sun, uh, the sun was uh, gonna start setting and then hence the angle going off a little bit more to the left instead of center. All right. So for the technical part, I wanted to go for a more of a. Um, yeah, so I wanted to go for a very heavy film noir look here. So very strong contrast because the, eh, the, the, for me, the song feels uh, very clandestine, uh, very like trying to keep it under the table, but very trying to also release some anger. So that's how I was kind of feeling, feeling that. And then I was going for a film noir look to make it look as dramatic as possible. So very strong shadows, uh, especially the a lot, majority of that was done in post so which is in in after effects and uh premiere strong contrast monochrome uh lut here 
added a couple pieces of fog uh, overlays here so right in the front right here and back there just because that's like, like one of the things that you know just to add to that mystery like that rage but it's not but it's not so much an explosive rage it's very like hidden kind of rage that's what it's kind of going for and then the the light rays red giant trap code just helped out it saved me so much time from instead of trying to instead of trying to uh create everything from scratch if you can get if you can afford plugins to save you time i suggest you use them because it's going to save you hours and hours i was originally trying to make these 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 rays from scratch mm -mm. i think like the lighting and everything just looks great there's a little hack i do i called uh i created a a golden ratio grid or the fee grid so that way whenever i edit where i'm placed is in the most uh is in the center of the golden ratio so it's like the most uh eye-catching or eye-pleasing i think over i think overall it looks good my main note is that extending the moves and i have a tendency to try to catch every single beat and i think so really just take my time a little bit more i think what I'm looking at is like I'm already ahead doing the next move that I haven't finished the current move. Like the cool flashy stuff I, is good because I've practiced that a million times. It's always the actual legit freestyle where it's like you are literally coming up, coming up with stuff from nothing that can be challenging. So that's why, you know, when it comes to taking your time, especially in freestyling, is super important and just really listening and try to. Uh, not rush everything. Technically, I think it looks good. I haven't done this level of compositing in ages uh, because simply I thought it was a pain in the ass when I did it in college, but it looks good when you're doing it for yourself. So um, I think that's it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys en are enjoying uh, this format of me showing the dance aspect and then the technical editing aspect. If you guys are, comment down below. And if not just that, if you guys have a specific song you guys want me to dance to, and if I can find a story to tell through it, I'll definitely do it. This, all you gotta do is comment, let me know what song you want me to freestyle to, and I'll put it together. Uh, it might take a while because I have a whole bunch of videos that I'm putting out there. Trust me, if, if I'm really feeling the song and if I really want to freestyle to it and I can come up with that story, I will put it together. Uh, it's just not, you know, the turnaround's not gonna be like next week. It might be a month or two because there's a whole bunch of other videos that I have in, you know, in, in the queue. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, share, and comment, like I just said. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Your obedient servant, A. Ham. Careful how you proceed, good man. Intemperate indeed, good man.